Well, 30 years ago, uh, everything was very different in the world of Alzheimer's. There was no care, there was no recognition. And now, of course, dementia and Alzheimer's are right at the very heart of the NHS. I'm Martin Lewis. I had the privilege of chairing today's conference and uh, a real privilege it was because we had so many great topics covered. Um, there was so much lateral thinking. There were so many terrific speakers and it's what makes the Brace Conference something very special and I've been privileged to chair it for the last four years. I want to walk away from a conference thinking, hey, I learned something that I didn't know before, even though I might know quite a reasonable amount about the subject. And I think my takeaways are the fact that people can have Alzheimer's disease, but not Alzheimer's dementia. In other words, they can have the proteins and all the seeds of Alzheimer's in their brain, and they can live to 102. That, I thought, was the most phenomenal uh, uh, piece of new knowledge for me. To hear um, a trustee and one of the founders of the Alzheimer's Society and, and one of the people who founded BRACE actually saying, you know, that 250 million pounds plus is currently being put in in Britain, you know, 150 million from the government in order to pursue this research. And BRACE is a really, really keen part of that because BRACE's research or BRACE's funded research, which is pioneering, and I think as, uh, as the optimism shown by some of the speakers illustrates, we are on the cusp of something quite special. I'm going out of this conference with a real spring in my step, a real bounce. Whether there is a cure around the corner or not, the fact is that so many people are talking about it, so many people are attending this conference, and I think the number is bigger this year than ever before. I've got no doubt that Brace is playing an absolutely key part in not only what has happened over the last 30 years, but in what will happen for the future. So get out there and keep funding Brace.